Charlie Seal. I'm the executive director of the Exotic Wildlife Association. Uh, we're a nonprofit organization that is uh, has conservation through commerce as our primary mission. Uh, we represent most of the breeders and uh, game ranchers across the. Uh, we're an international association across the entire continent. Um, made up probably of 5,000 members. We're here today to just talk a little bit about the three species that have, uh, I think is our greatest success story. Uh, these animals uh, were on the, are on the brink of extinction and some have already gone extinct in their native land of Northwest Africa. And I'll talk particularly about the scimitar horned oryx. Uh, they were, there are virtually none left in the wild and they number in the 15,000s here in Texas. Uh, the Attucks is another one of those species that has not been seen in the wild in over 20 or 30 years, and they number around 7,500 animals just here in, in the Texas Hill Country. Uh, the Dama gazelle is a very delicate gazelle that uh, there were fewer than 80, 80 of them uh, back uh, 15, 20 years ago. And our last census shows, shows close to 2,000 of those animals. I'm Jimmy Gregory. I'm with the Austin Savannah in Austin, Texas. And I have an opportunity to spend a little time talking to you today about the conservation efforts that we at EWA are very proud of uh, having the opportunity to do to maybe help save some species. We've worked very hard over the years to do conservation minded things to help save species and as a private rancher uh, it gives us an opportunity to speak to a group of folks that we normally don't get to talk to and having the opportunity to save some species as we have done in the past with the what some people refer to as the three amigos the scimitar horned oryx from chad the dama gazelle from africa and then also the addicts from central africa and the sahara desert the scimitar horned oryx is one of the species that we're most proud of. It, it grew from as, a group as a few as 175 and have grown that now to over 15,000 of those that are alive and available uh, for um, more propagation, for us to be able to trade with, with zoos, to be able to put them in places where they don't have places to raise the animals, and also to see those animals uh, not go extinct. That's the exciting part about the conservation work that we've been able to do. The Dama gazelle species is another one that we are very proud of. We started with uh, as few as 84 animals with the census that we took a number of years ago with EWA and to try to find out how many were out there and we found that there were as many as 84 and now they're into the thousands as well. The Attics is another species that we're very proud of that started with is with the census that we took a few years ago, as few as 175, and now up to 5,000. So uh, that's just another example of how you can take with the private ranches and with private ownership and turn these into uh, animals that we don't have to worry about going extinct. Several years back, in along the, about 2007 to 2010, the the United States uh, Fish and Wildlife Service gave uh, an exemption from the Endangered Species Act uh, to those three species that we've been talking about, the scimitar horn oryx, the Attix, and the Dama gazelle. When they gave that exemption from the requirements of the ESA, um, that just virtually exploded the populations because the ranchers were able to freely trade, buy, and sell uh, each of these animals. Uh, animal rights groups filed lawsuits against the Exotic Wildlife Association uh, and against the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to stop those exemptions. And once they, these exemptions were, we lost that lawsuit, once the exemptions were stopped, um, people virtually got rid of every animal they had. They were selling these animals for pennies on the dollar. And we estimate that within a couple of year period that the numbers of those animals were cut almost 50%. We went back to the uh, Congress in 2013 and through the U.S. Congress uh, was able to get a, a permanent exemption uh, from the ESA on those three species and what that did was absolutely explode the populations again brought the numbers back to where they were in 2010 and now they're even beyond those numbers of where we've talked about earlier uh, around uh, two million animals of which 
Uh, 15,000 of those are scimitar horn oryx, 7,500 we estimate of the attics, and somewhere around 2,000 on the Dama Gazelle. Through the efforts of the private ranches throughout the state of Texas, we've able to, we have been able to grow those numbers from in the mere very few hundred to thousands of, of animals that we can take and draw from to help save these species.